So, Jeremy Corbyn is saying that Labour will probably back a new referendum on the Brexit deal so we can have the option of stopping this entire Brexit mess. And to be honest, he didn't really have a choice. Not just because pretty much all of Labour was screaming for him to do so, but because what kind of party would Labour be if it didn't do that? I mean, Brexit is going to make us poorer, which is going to hurt the working class that Labour is supposed to work represent, so they can't allow that. If we basically sacrifice our ability to trade easily and cheaply with countries across Europe, our continent, in favour of being able to trade with countries further away, which we already do, but generally increasing the amount of distance we have to travel to get our stuff out, then the only companies that will actually benefit from that are the largest multinational corporations. Again, how could any Labour Party support that? The British Medical Association, the highest medical authority in the whole of the UK, says that a no-deal Brexit would be catastrophic for our NHS. So how could any Labour government support that? And Brexit removes the human rights protections that the EU gives us, the right to live, work and love in 31 countries and be treated equally when we get there, and the workers' rights that have largely come from the European Union, workers' rights, i.e. literally Labour rights, how could any Labour government support losing them? And now that we're faced with a Brexit that even Brexit voters absolutely hate because it means we follow the rules of the EU but have no say in actually making those rules, that would leave Brexit voters arguably angrier than Remain voters. So with the jobs, livelihood and well-being of people in Labour heartlands on the line, Labour had no choice but to give the people the final say in whether or not the Brexit that we've just negotiated is good enough for our country's future. Because surprise, surprise, democracy didn't end in 2016.